little bit difference so today's topic uh, i'm uh, uh, taking is uh, over smartness um, i will begin with uh, what and in which context i'm uh, making this video uh, when a teacher uh, teaches in college so uh, he reflects uh, himself uh, with uh, his own experience the uh, knowledge of topics and uh, third thing is that uh, uh, his understanding uh, for uh, you know like the students and uh, his uh, interaction uh, like uh, how much uh, he wish to give to the students so sometimes what happen uh, there are many uh, students interact and uh, while teaching um, we come to know that uh, who is normal who is smart who is intelligent and who is the uh, over smart so um, the reason that i am taking this topic because um, i have been labeled as over smart uh, during my phd before of that uh, like my undergraduates and masters um, it was not so much uh, uh, relevant because uh, uh, that strength of the students while in undergraduation in one class we were uh, 40 students 60 students by masters there was a uh, 10 to 15 students but uh, why phd when you are a single scholar and then you are leveled of uh, over smart then you will re- realize and then you get sometimes that uh, how you become over smart so um, you know once um, you become t- a teacher after completing your phd then actually you got time to understand over smartness is so uh, for me uh, it's very clear that uh, A student uh, who understands that he is uh, better than the teacher is over smart. A student who knows that uh, the subject is easy and he can pass with flying colors, he is over smart. And a student who believes that all these things I can uh, cover up without uh, any guidance of the teacher or um, help of the any friends he is over smart so uh, actually you know seriously the student does not like uh, such students a student uh, in 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 perspective uh, what they should uh, do in the class of course they come for the teaching uh, come for learning so they have to put great attention in uh, the subject they are learning but you know the important thing is that they have to pay respect to the teacher and uh, paying respect uh, does not mean that uh, uh, their physical appearance their uh, verbal sweet words in terms of respect to the teacher sometimes uh, a student's aura it also reflects that uh, how much respect they give to a teacher so uh, i think this video will um, helpful to students as well as a teacher so now we will see that how we can figure out this thing so first of all um, for a student i will say that um, knowledge is limitless a teacher is always a student he is a life time learner and uh, in some cases and i do agree about it in some cases also if you feel that uh, you have a more understanding and more knowledge of the particular topic of subject than a teacher then you should realize that you are a disciple and your religion is a discipline ultimately you have to help your teacher you have to discuss with him and then you should uh, help to each other and suppose you are more confident that the subject is easy and you will without paying a lot of attention you can pass so that's for you it is not related to the teacher 
so always try to very very modest try to give respect and instead of that compression always try that uh, we can how parallelly go and accomplish the success of the subject and for teacher i would say uh, when we found uh, the student is over smart so what the teacher do uh, it depends on the nature of the teacher but uh, uh, in an intelligent teacher you know um, uh, he just keep a space he maintains an space uh, he didn't bother about um, over smart students he stop um, taking his care right whatever he performs let him to perform and uh, he should uh, uh, what to say that um, in terms of making a distance uh, they both try to go in two different paths while they should go together so uh, in that case uh, i would say that the teacher should um, first of all have to have a good thoughts for the students have a good conversation that this is uh, where you are wrong and there is a chance where you can move and of course uh, give him some time if he improves okay otherwise the uh, keeping distance is not bad it is good for him also and good for you also but i would say uh, as a teacher um, unconditional support is um, our duty and uh, we have to uh, provide our un unconditional support unconditionally thank you very much